Yo, what's that word? It's JP. I'm here with Trashy. Let's talk some trash. <laughs> what's your favorite R&B song? I wanna know, I wanna know what turns you on. Hey, I like to know so I can be all that and more. Yeah, that. That's that, that's that shit. Two and all the hoes gonna be all on my dick and shit. They heard me sing and shit. Like, all right, I ain't even, yeah, all that shit. Who lies more, men and women? Women. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm like the best friend. I'm like, I'm like gay best friend. And I do that because of the terms and conditions that I put with these females. I'm the nigga that's in the background while your bitch, you on the phone with your bitch and you like, oh yeah, oh yeah, baby, I love you. Good night. Woo woo. She, she acting all shit. Yeah, I'm finna get ready to go to Woo woo. Yeah. She hang the phone up and I put dick in her. Damn it, why you on the phone? I'm stuffing dick in her. I'm stuffing dick in her. Eat it! Oh, my mama, I'm talking about all kind of shit. Like, I done heard niggas on the phone pleading, crying. Please, take me back. She not coming back, my nigga, I ain't gonna lie. What's off limits in bed? My ass. Don't touch my ass. You can get to the gooch, dog. No, that are not even the gooch either. That's too close to the ass. It hit different. I done have some hoes. They be thinking they hella slip. They be trying to slip down there because that's how I be eating hoes' asses. You like, I be slipping it. I slip it. Bitch, you must be sucking balls. Why you trying to lick my gooch and shit? Get your motherfucking ass back up here before I smack your ass. You going down too low. I'll pop a bit. I'll pop a bit quick. What you doing? You all like this and shit. This shit. Bitch, what you got? Ah, pop that head quick. What's a sign that your partner is cheating? Like, if you a motherfucker that you know you ain't been on your D, you know you been fucking up, and she coming home every motherfucking day happy, it's probably a nigga like me behind the camera. Giving her the nigga, it hit different. Which city has the best looking women? Well, I know it ain't my, well, no, nah, I ain't gonna say. Well, got some decent females. Well, I just came from New York. The biddies there, they ain't, they ain't all a lot. Well, I seen one, we seen one, it was a reporter. But uh, I don't know what city, uh, I would say like, probably somewhere on the West Coast or something. Los Angeles, I'm still, Los Angeles. All right, that was close, God damn it. Ooh, shit, I like this. Look at y'all. You have been promoted. What's your biggest turn off? Ugly feet, oh my God. You got ugly feet, hit the dough. Yeah, I got a foot fetish. Oh God, I do. If you take your shoes off and your feet pretty. Oh man, them feet pretty. You got them in missionary. You suck them motherfucking toes while you stroking that shit. Have you ever been injured during sex? Yeah, nigga, no, cuz when you in that certain position and shit, and you got the stroke right and shit, you know what I'm saying? She making a little noise and shit, so you trying to keep that up. Sometimes, like, motherfucker ain't stretched before or some shit, so your motherfucking thigh, your back thigh get to cramping up and shit, but you gotta keep that motherfucker so you, like, throw that motherfucker up a little bit. Now you trying to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't never been injured, injured, though. A bitch did bounce on my dick one time. She was, I was doing the thing, I was lifting her up, but that was really my fault. So at first, I was, I was gonna lift her up and then just do the little, the whole little thing like that. G jugging her shit, but then I got lazy because my shit started burning. I do homework on me. I'm like this, and then my shit get to burning. So now I get lazy and just try to use brute strength and try to just hand, hey make her shit. My shit ended up slipping out, came back down. Mm. I got back in that ass though, but like we had to stop. I ain't gonna lie, that shit was dead as a motherfucker. What's the weirdest DM you've ever received? Some motherfuckers in my uh, some motherfuckers in my city call, uh, called themselves so called exposing me. We had took some pictures and they all and they all end up resurfacing, like when I got a name and shit like that. So they came back. I had texted her and I was like, sent her laughing emojis and shit, like when they posting this shit, like, I ain't get no fuck. I, I will fuck. I, I'm me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She was like, I still throw this ass back on you <laughs> or some shit like that. What's your biggest pet peeve? A motherfucker that lie right to your face. Nine times with a 10, nigga, if I ask you a question, I already know the answer to it. So don't fuck around, because I'm going to get to, I'm going to get with the get down, goddammit. I know how to. I'm not gonna just ask you some shit if I really don't know. Sometimes you gotta play the fool, the fool, the fool that's trying to fool you. God damn it, I'm a fool. What's the dumbest thing you believed as a child? Damn it, a two fairy. I feel homework on me in the motherfucking bathroom trying to pull my teeth out because I thought I was gonna get money in here different. But it, it was like good pain though. It was like that pain that hurt, but you wanna keep doing it. I was a badass kid. Now I'm trying to dodge a sentence. Look at that ass nigga. Come on. <laughs> What's your best piece of dating advice? This is a good last question. Communication. Communication is key. Me and the wife have checkups. We have um, 
We have monthly check-ins that we do every month. It's important to really know the person that you're with. And like, like I said, like communication is key. As long as you communicate and you keep that and you keep that going, you can, you know what I'm saying, you can keep things pushing. Even when things are wrong, like everything is not gonna be easy. Like the giving up isn't an option. Once you eliminate giving up out of not being an option, it's like, okay, you know eventually, it's like getting mad at your brother or getting mad at your sister. Like you know I, I eventually gotta come back. So What's that word, y'all? I'm JP, and I just got finished talking with trash. And if it ain't trash, then it's trash.